Good evening, folks. This is Longshot1982 here with another statue review. Today, I'm super excited to bring to you the Kotobu Kia Wolverine Danger Room Session statue sculpted none other by the legendary Eric Sosa. Now, displayed here is the first appearance of the brown costume in the Uncanny X-Men number 139. However, this is a key issue with other things as well. It's also the first appearance of uh, Heather Hudson, and this is also the first time, displayed over here, that uh, Kitty Pride joins the X-Men in this issue. Now, the thing is, is that the brown costume turned out to be a big fan favorite. It had the... Uh, pretty much the longest continuous run until 1991 when he switched back. Uh, the costume was designed by John Byrne, and, uh, you know, it's kind of a more intimidating look of a uh, Wolverine. So um, without further ado, let's display, let's show you this delectable treat. Boom! There it is right there in all his glory. My favorite part about this statue is that it has the base of a, the, the, the sentinel head getting all destroyed. That is the face of the sentinel head that Wolverine has just destroyed. This has got some decent weight to it. It's pretty solid. You can pick it up for about $200, and it's about, nah, I'd say about 11 inches high. It's got two head sculpts, one with him being really angry, one right over here with a lot more reserved look. Great detail in this piece. The other head is good, too, but it looks basically like he's, you know, he's just angry as he usually is. But to me, in my own personal opinion, it doesn't really do much for the rest of the statue. I like the mask, with, you know, being complete with his brown costume. Now, the, the, it comes right off the base real easily through this one peg right over here. This base is really something. I mean, look, it's just basically the destroyed head of the Sentinel, a gorgeous gorgeous heavy uh, piece and this has a limited edition run of 3300 for those of you out there that care about that but let me give you a nice close-up let, let me give you a close-up of the musculature of the statue you see all the ripples of the muscles the vein work you can see the hair being shaved right here you see the shaved detail in the back the, the claws they're they're not as shiny as the Wolverine premium format, but as you can see, even from this angle, he's really imposing. He's got a real threatening look, and it fits amazing next to the Juggernaut Kotobukiya statue. The detail in the boots is painted great. Uh, the Kotobukiya Hulk, you know, I've said in the past the, the, the paint wasn't as good. They made up for that in this. The, the shading and everything in the costume um, they really did a great job, especially in the midsection here with the musculature and like and with the shading of the you know of the paint. They did a really good job on this. Sometimes you know certain statues they don't have that. Um, let me just put it right back on here. They don't have that. Um, you know they didn't put the, the right amount of shading. Or people have been having paint problems with uh, certain pieces. It just goes right back on. It's such a fantastic piece. I don't even know what else to say about it. It's it's a 10 out of 10 in my book. Um, I like this better than the original Danger Room Sessions Wolverine. As own personal preference, I think his stance and his facial expression is a little bit more intimidating. Uh, the base really blows me away with the Sentinel. I think that's definitely an added thing. Uh, there is no uh, special additions to this, thank God. But it's uh, it's a, you get a lot for the money. And it looks great with the Magneto Kotobu Kia and the, uh, the Juggernaut. I mean, it's really it's really win-win. And you guys, right now, if you go out there, you could probably get it for under $200. Totally worth it. Anyway, thank you guys for your time. Please sub me. Please comment. I'd love to know what you think of this review. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much for your support. Have a great day.